Hi, my name is Max Rademacher. Welcome to this tutorial of the Opscape data portal. I recommend you to also read the manual of the data portal, which can be found here at the support page on the data portal manual. This video tutorial will help you to get started. As you can see, our project is empty at the moment. We have no measurement stations yet. But suppose we have purchased a WaveDroid wave measurement boy from Opscape, which we would like to activate for usage at the data portal. So we go to the devices page. The activation code of the WaveDroid boy can be found on the device itself, and in our case it reads ABC456. I click add and I confirm. Now I see the WaveDroid boy featuring here in the device list. Let's click it to view some more information. The serial number is stated over there. It is of device type WaveBoy, and most importantly, it is not coupled to a measurement station yet at this moment. So let's create a measurement station and couple the device to it. We do that on the map page, and in our case, we are going to create a station in the Jakarta Bay in Indonesia. I navigate to the desired location and I click the map at the location where I would like to create the station. I specify a name for it. The geographic coordinates have already been filled out and I click save. Now the station shows up here on the map and it is also featured in the station list over there. If I'm not entirely happy with the exact location I chose, I can drag the marker to another location and confirm. Now let's view the station information. Our station is still of the non type because zero devices are coupled to it at present. So let's couple our WaveDroid boy to this station. I go to menu, edit devices, couple device. And the WaveDroid boy now is available for coupling to this station. So I click the couple button over there. And now we see a notification regarding the magnetic declination, which has already been specified automatically based on the geographic coordinates of the station. We can review that in a second. So now we can see that the WaveDroid boy features in the coupled devices list for the Jakarta Bay station. Let's click settings. All the settings you can change over here are referred to in the Opscape data portal manual. And as you can see over here, the magnetic declination that was referred to in the notification uh, has been specified at one degree, which is correct for the Jakarta Bay. If I'm not happy with the WaveDroid being coupled to this station, uh, I can click the uncouple button over there, but for now we will leave it. Every WaveDroid boy comes with a satellite modem on board, and if I would like to buy line rental to actually start using satellite communication, I can do that at the satellite communication page. Again, the device features here in the device list, and I can click extend to extend the line rental, which has indeed expired. You can specify the number of months you would like to extend by here in this selector, and then click buy and I confirm the associated costs. This can last a little while, but then the line rental has been extended successfully and I can see that over here. Now we quickly visit the project settings page and I would like to draw your attention to the mailing list block over here. When I registered for the Opscape data portal, I was also automatically registered for several alert emails that are being sent whenever the status of one of my devices changes. And here I can also register for monthly data reports if I wish to. And over here at the bottom of the page, you can invite your colleagues for the Opscape data portal so they can work with it as well. You can specify their email address over there and uh, select whether they need to be a passive or an active user. Passive users can only view and download data, while active users can also modify settings. And you click send invitation. Now suppose we are a little bit further down the line and we have installed more Opscape sensors around the Jakarta Bay. We can see our uh, wave boy still there. Uh, we have uh, a new weather station that was uh, installed here on a small island. Uh, there's a water level gauge in the river mouth on the eastern side of the bay. We have a rain gauge there, a rain gauge there, and a time-lapse camera overlooking a river mouth on the western side of the bay. 
Let's click a few of these stations to view more information. This uh, station info uh, window will show us the last week of data that were recorded. So uh, here's the significant wave height for the wave buoy, the peak wave period that was measured. Or we can view the uh, time lapse camera station with the latest image that was recorded. And if we then click the Bahagia rain gauge, it will uh, show us the rainfall over the last week. If we now click the live data button, we will get much more options to inspect the data because it will take us to the station data page. Uh, here in the central section, we see all the parameters that were measured by the station. And um, this time slider allows us to uh, move further in time and to view longer periods of time. If I now click this lock button, it will lock the distance between the two sliders and uh, they will move together if I drag them along the time slider. I can inspect the data points by clicking them. It will show more information about the particular data point. Um, and I can also select a range if I drag my mouse along this graph, which will then show us more um, statistics about the data recorded over the selected period. And I can also click the zoom button here to zoom to the selected period of time. There are several download options available. If I go to menu and download, I can uh, select the date limits here. So let's say we would like to see um, all rainfall that was recorded over the month of September in 2019. And we would like to receive a nice PDF report of that. And um, I'd like to see cumulative rainfall per day over that month. I click the download button. And here's my report. And I see a nice cover page in the PDF and then there's the requested graph with the rainfall data over the month of September 2019, cumulatively per day. Now finally, I would also like to show you the log page over there, which allows us to um, manage our um, operations in the field and uh, document all the uh, operations that were carried out regarding our stations and devices. So suppose today we have visited the uh, Bahagia rain gauge and have inspected it. Furthermore, we have uh, cleaned the rain bucket uh, and all else seemed to be fine. Um, then we can post a new message to the log saying, uh, inspected rain gauge today, cleaned bucket, all else okay. Um, optionally, we could attach some files to this message, which we won't do now. And I click submit. There is my log message. And um, by doing this, we can build up some documentation for the rain gauge. The Opscape data portal offers much more options, and they are all described comprehensively in the Opscape data portal manual. Um, but should you have any further questions, uh, do not hesitate to contact us.